sitting within my conscience and my bitter liver. I am telling the federal government of, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Federal Executive Council and the National Executive Council to listen properly that after the ultimatum of 100 days, if this road is not properly fixed with our hard-earned sweat that is in their pockets, that is in their banks, we are going to shut all economic activities on this road, shut down. We will not, we will not care to lose our lives, even if that is what it takes to pay. Because if you die for nothing, you die, you must die for something. So I am ready to die for something. President Buhari, Governor Ambote, I am talking to you right now as I speak. Comrade Sawanu Michael is telling you that if this road is not fixed, the incoming governor, Yayi, the, the senator, Yayi, you have never been to Badagri before. I'm waiting for you. Goss, if you are in Lagos, move out of Lagos. We are ready for you right now. We want them to remove all illegal checkpoints away from Badagri Road under 24 hours. All the illegal checkpoints must be removed under 24 hours. We discover with my findings, which is accurate, that spreading from Semeboda to Agbara Bridge, you will find over 40 checkpoints. Yeah. which is approximately three times all the checkpoints spreading from Krake, which is Benin Republic, down to Noe border, which is Côte d'Ivoire. We have 40 checkpoints only stretching from 46 kilometers. But if you move away from Benin Republic to Côte d'Ivoire, you, you would have traveled over 500 kilometers to get to four countries away from Nigeria. You cannot find more than five checkpoints on those roads. But in Semen, to Agbara, you find more checkpoints. Transportation is very high. Our women are losing their pregnancies and enough is enough. Please Badagri Road. 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 We know this road has been for long, for long, long time. And this road, the nature of this road is very bad. I don't know, maybe you can see everywhere. Look at death everywhere now. Death is too much everywhere. As it is happening on this road, and the government are collecting tax from us, we are paying, we are paying, we are paying. For, but for them to fix the road, no road. What is the of tax that we are paying? We are even tired. We are tired. The road is too bad. Please, government. Fix this road for us. When we are coming, we face a lot of hold ups. When we are going again, we face this, the same thing. Yes, I stand around that, but you can see me holding my bag. I go out on Monday, I come back on Saturday because of this road. I walk only, please, I, I, I walk only around my two. I, I, I was got fired because of this road some five years ago. I lost I, I lost my job five years ago because of this, because of this, this road. Please, government should help us. We are really suffering, please. Please come and do this road for us. It's very too bad. We cannot, th five hours to Badagri, five hours, five hours. It's too much, come and do it for us. Come and do it, please. You are collecting tax from us, I'm a driver. Look at my key. I'm going to pull everywhere to collect the money. Look at all your road, you cannot do it for us. Police is on the road, collect the money from us. Everything, please come and do it for us. We want you to come and do it, do it. What we need here is a good road and light. We didn't want to know anything you are doing there. We didn't need your money. Don't give us money. We didn't need your salary. Even though you are collecting billions, we don't need it. See, a lot of people are dying on this road. A pregnant woman that is going to uh, Banakri for a uh, safety delivery, at least in an old job, the woman will die with the child. Just imagine. Imagine a container dragging you with coral paper and you fall on there, they will die. I didn't know this why they are doing like this. We don't need their money, we don't need their cash. What we need is good light and good road. Please, we beg you for the name, and for God's sake, you should please and repair this road for us. Thank you very much. We are protesting this because we have been seen as second to Fidu in Badagri Division. Look at our roads. Our roads are, are bad. We are not demanding for much from the government. We are just demanding for little. We don't even want new roads. 
Let them make this passable for us. Let, it, let them make it motorable for us. That is all we are demanding for. And this is a warning. This is a warning protest. I'm very sure in the next seven days, if adequate this resolution is not being taken about this road, we are going to stand up uphill with the government. I so submit. Well, I'm here to support this overdue cause. Because as we speak, we find out that Badagri is, it has become a gateway of pain and anguish. A lot of people are dying on the road. Tourism has almost collapsed. This is a place that over 460 billion has been spent to rehabilitate the roads. We've seen our mothers die. We see some of them suffer from steel bag. We've seen students that also suffered as a result of the road. So now is the time for us to speak with one voice that Badagri Road must be fixed. A state of emergency has to be declared on these roads. There is a nexus between infrastructure in terms of roads and the economy. Economy here is almost coming to stagnation. So this is why I support this just cause. Government must rise up and within 100 days ensure that something urgently is done.